Hey guys. That's my baby. Um Chapter six. I figure since my son is asleep, let me, you know, do an episode. Whoever this is is a smart M alpha. First time I've ever seen a reflection in this fucking mirror. <laughs> okay, guys. It's early morning. And I'm getting ready for my uh, trip to Italy with Tristan. I feel ridiculous. It's been almost two days since I hung out with Lucas. And I can't wipe the silly smile off my face. I have no idea what has gotten into me. But last night with Lucas did... Uh, me good. I feel happier than usual. I'm not in love. I'm pretty sure about that. Well, I don't actually know because I've never been in love before. Oh, shit. Except for one boy I had a crush on when I was in the first grade. His name was Luca. Oddly similar to Lucas, actually. Is that... It probably could be him, girl. Just had to ask. Anyway, I can honestly say that I've never been in love in my adult years. I've been with a few guys for the fun of it, though. <laughs> if you know what she means. <laughs> but love is a funny thing. However, after meeting Lucas and getting um, to know him better, I feel a bit more optimistic about finding love one day myself. And well, maybe Lucas... <clears throat> Will turn out to become more than just a friend to me. He definitely made me interested. And to be honest, I haven't felt these butterflies in my stomach since I was a kid. But now when I see him almost every day, uh, they are there constantly. I can't let him distract me from my mission, though. Girl, who you, who you smiling at, girl? <laughs> this sight never ceases to amaze me. No, you're smiling at your closet, girl. <laughs> uh, let's see seductive roses. Let's see what that let's see what that'd be like. I bet you I know exactly what dress it is. I knew it. I knew it was this goddamn dress. Mm, let's try something else. Let's see what that'd be like. Hell no. Nah. Nah. <coughs> girl, this. <laughs> nah, you made me choke, girl. Nah. You wear that rose dress, baby. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Thank you. Mm hmm. Think I'm ready. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> go Tristan. A private jet? Not bad, baby. What can we do some with your hair? Oh, he's talking to someone in his earpiece too. Should I try to Yeah, it could be real important. I'll be very quiet. It depends on how much money he's willing to pay. I'm not going to let some um, power-hungry jerk haggle with the price. A potential buyer? I need uh, to inform Luca. Lucas. <laughs> Maybe he can trace the call. I'll lower my voice to an almost whisper, hoping Tristan won't hear it. Raven, do you hear me? I hear you gorgeous. <laughs> Do you have a location on the person that Tristan is talking to? Uh, the thing, the only thing I can see is that there's somewhere in Italy. He must have secured his phone for being bugged. I don't know how. What did he say? It's hard to explain now, but I think we need to keep an extra eye on him in Italy. Um, the guy he's talking to is definitely representing the potential buyer. Talk to, oh, what a, wait. No, can't go back. Sorry, guys. Copy that later, gorgeous. Okay, now I know he's definitely trying to sell something. Something powerful. Rachel, how long have you been standing here? 
Um, I could see you were talking to someone and um your AP, so I didn't want to disturb you. I just got here a minute ago, though. Well, the next time you just let me know that you're here, you're my first uh, priority right now. I must admit, I like feeling prioritized, but if you need um to take a phone call, please don't feel bad about it, okay? I appreciate it. Thank you, Rachel. So, are you ready to board? I def well, definitely. I've never flown a private jet before. Only a dozen times. Well, I'm sure you'll like it. No screaming children. Um, snoring elders and smelly toilets. <laughs> I haven't gotten used to it yet either. What do you mean? Haven't you always had this kind of lifestyle? I know he comes from a middle class Italian family. I need me an Italian man with an Italian mama so I can eat her food, girl. Anyway. <laughs> His father is an... Uh, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. His father is an entrepreneur, too. I'll tell you guys. It's just uh, just not as successful as Tristan. Mm -mm -mm. These chips are slumming, honey. Um, his father died six years ago. It's only been Tristan, his mother, his little sister, and his grandmother. They all live under the same roof in a nice house Tristan bought for them a few years back. Of course, he can't know I know that or that I'm Italian myself. Hey, well, no, my family's lifestyle has been, well, modest. My dad had big plans and lots of big ideas. Being an entrepreneur himself... But he never had the luck I did. He died six years ago, so now I I help provide for my mother, sister, and grandmother. I'm sorry to hear that, Christian. I'm sure your family appreciates your help very much, and your dad is proudly watching from heaven. Thank you, Rachel. I like to think that, too. Anyways, let's get uh this up in the air. Climb aboard, miss. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys. His family lives in... Uh, okay, yeah. In, but Venera, a small town in the heart of Lake Como. It's a beautiful place. Mama and Papa took me here once when I was a kid. Not that far from Venice. I could feel my nerves building up. I knew coming to Italy would be difficult for me. But now I'm scared I'll lose it. Mm. Most of all, I hope no one will recognize me as the kid who survived the the, the massacre. Mm -hmm. And that I won't run into my old friends from my love. The, the mob girl. Shit. Girl, I don't... Mm -mm. Oh, it's a nice house, girl. As soon as we stepped off the plane, I smelled the air. It reminded me of the horror of my childhood. Ooh, ooh, girl. It was a beautiful house constructed with stone and brick. Roses were growing up the walls oh, of the house, and flower pots were on the stairs. Uh, <clears throat> the way the wind caressed my skin, the feeling of the grass beneath my feet. It all seemed, it all sent me straight back to that day, that horrible day. I felt my body being taken over with ghosts of my past. The urge to just run away from everything once again was just as appealing this time. But there's no turning back now. I'm only doing this for myself this time. I'm doing it for the good, innocent people and the children of the world. I'm determined not to let my past control me like this anymore. I'll go inside that house now and try to forget my connection to this beautiful country. It's the only thing I can do. And this is it. Please don't uh, be intimidated by my family, especially not my Nona. Uh, they're just very Italian. I hope they like me. Of course they will, but they'll probably get the wrong idea too, though. Sorry in advance. Let's go inside. <laughs> mm -hmm. Where's Nona? 
Trish Jam. Hi, Mama. <laughs> Hi, Mama. It's so good to see you again. This is my friend Rachel. Ah, welcome. Okay. Thank you so much. No, no. Uh, uh, girl, somebody. Hey, sister. Trish, uh, girl, grandma, the girl. Tristan is home and he brought, he brought a new girl. Tristan. All right, no, no. Don't give me, don't give me too much, no, no, because I can't deal with all that. I'm I'm guessing she asked what happened. Okay, who's that pretty girl you've brought with you? That's definitely not Julia. <laughs> All right. She's a friend, grandma. She's coming with uh with me to my meeting. She's prettier than Julia too, to be honest. Mom, she's just a friend. Is she Italian? She looks Italian. No. No, I don't think she is. I hope she's not because you guys are being pretty embarrassing. <laughs> now, please speak English and welcome her. Didn't she just speak Italian to them, though? Um, I better get dinner started. It's nice to have you here with us, Rachel. Thank you. It's nice to be here, Mrs. Evergreen. Oh, please call me Al Alyssa. A oh, dear. Okay. You like her, don't you? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, Grandma. I'm engaged to Julia, but yes, I. I'll admit it. I like her. She's gorgeous and funny and are you happy now? <laughs> I just awkwardly stood there understanding every single word they said. If only they knew that I'm Italian that Italian is my native tongue, honey. That actually speak seven languages. That I actually speak seven languages. First them. Hey little Jackie. I'm happy with home. I missed you, dork. Mm -hmm. Okay, girl. God, well, I'm going through all that because I don't speak Italian, child. I'm so happy to see you. Um, happy to see you. Your timing is perfect. Will you please help me get these two stubborn old ladies to speak English? Mm -hmm. Watch your mouth, young man. I can easily poison your lasagna, you know. Oh, lasagna! Girl, I need to be at their house. This is my friend Rachel. Nice to meet you, girl. Nice to meet you too, Rachel. Oh God, she's pretty, Tristan. You finally decided to throw that snobby hag Julie out. <laughs> Don't talk about Julia like that. She's a nice girl, and I love her very much. Okay, so what the hell? Sorry, I just don't like her. She doesn't care about us, your family. Of course she cares. We just don't visit you guys as often as we should. Girl. I understand that uh I understand that you have a hard time liking her when you've only met her twice. Okay, whatever. I've only met Rachel once and I already like her better. <laughs> I figure I might as well tell them and have some fun with it. Uh, I really need to see the look on Tristan's face when I tell him. Besides, I think it'll only make him and them like me more. We'll have something more in common. Nah, I think you should know that I speak a little Italian. <laughs> Not much, but enough to understand most of what you're saying. I told you she was Italian. <laughs> I'm not Italian, but I studied descriptive writing in Milan for a year. Yes, I definitely like her. <laughs> you never mentioned you speak Italian. Well, you never asked. <laughs> I prefer English, though. English it is. So, Rachel, have you been uh, to Lake Comon before? Mm. Only once when I studied in Milan. It was a very short visit, though. I didn't have much time. But, well, it doesn't take much time to fall in love with this place anyway. True. Tristan, you should take her to our favorite spot later. It's really romantic. Um, I want to call her. I'm going to call her Maria because I don't know what the hell her I don't know how to pronounce her name. Mm. 
Where is it? I could uh, go there myself if Tristan thinks it's too weird. Tristan always mm. is always so serious, but don't worry, he'll take you there. Yes, don't worry, Dale. He'll take you there. <laughs> he will. <laughs> I think you should just go now. I already prepared your, you a picnic basket. Are you serious? That sounds wonderful. You didn't. Uh, you don't mind, of course, Tristan. Sure, I'll take you there. Don't mind my family. Obviously, attempt to at make matchmaking. Um, let's just giggle. You can drop your bags here, then, Rachel. Let's go down to the lake. So what do you think? It's truly a magical magical place. Please sit. Thank you. We sit down on a soft blanket his mom had given us and opened a bottle of red wine. Listen, I'm sorry uh, they were so hard on you regarding Julia. I didn't mean to make them change their preferences. It's not your fault. Julia is special. It can be a, a, both a good and bad thing, though. What did uh, Maria mean when she said that Julian doesn't care about your fa family? Well, Julie is a busy woman. She works a lot. Her job, however, demands a lot of pu uh, publicity and fans. So she's on the phone a lot, taking pictures and everything. And sometimes at, that might uh, come off as her not wanting to be where she is at the moment. Unfortunately, Julia, like, was like that last time we visited here. I must admit, it felt it felt a, a bit like she didn't want to be here. Sorry, Tristan, I didn't mean to pry. I don't understand. Uh oh, sorry. Damn, yeah, I'm on two percent. God damn it. Okay, I don't understand why everyone wants what wants to miss out on this place though. Some. Some things just can't be captured by camera. And I'm going to end this here, you guys, because I'm on legit on 2%. So it's going to be a part two. Well, now I'm going to end it here. I mean, just the smell of the air, the feel of the grass. So I'm going to end this here. And I'm going to charge my phone and then, you know, get back on it.